Hello, Assalamualaikum. Uh, let's discuss our today's task. Our today's task is to draw and analyze an isolated footing in safe with the following details. And the, uh, the details are as follows: that door will be 500 kN and live door is 100 kN. Total load will be 600 kN. And the safe bearing capacity of the soil is 150 kN per meter square. And uh, there is a simplest formula to calculate the area of the footing as uh, total load divided by safe bearing capacity that is 600 divided by 150 that come, came to be a 4 mm square. And uh, by this area, we can calculate the length and width of the footing that is 2 meter each. And uh, uh, the uh, depth or thickness of the footing will be 400 mm, and allowable settlement is 25 mm. Compressive strength of the concrete will be 30 MPa, and factor safety. Uh, that will be uh, three uh, factor safety and reliable settlement and the safe bearing capacity will be taken by the geotechnical investigator. And uh, let's move to the uh, safe interface. And this is a safe interface. Let's start a new model. In new model, we need to define the uh, design codes. Uh, that is uh, WPBAC31814, and this is the design preferences. We can modify the design preferences over here. And uh, up till now, we will uh, use our default uh, design preferences. And in the second tab, uh, we can modify the project information. And in the third tab, we need to modify the units as well. And uh, we need to go for the metric defaults uh, that is in kilometers and millimeters. And uh, click OK over here. And let's move for the uh, uh, this option. We can also choose the uh, single footing as well. But uh, let's start is with the uh, this option as well. This is the blank feed, and uh, first of all, we need to define the materials over here. To go to the define menu and materials, and uh, let's uh, have a type of material over here that is uh, that is a uh, V bar of 400 megapascal uh, is already there, and the compressive strength of Feet or 30 megapascal is also predefined over here. We don't need to define the it again. Click OK over here, and uh, now we need to define the object properties. First of all, we need to define the slab properties, and uh, we need to define the new property and uh, name the footing uh, as a footing. And the material used will be 30 megapascal in feet, and uh, name it as a footing. And thickness will be 400 millimeter, as we have discussed in our uh, data. Uh, move uh, click OK over here, and uh, now we need to find a column at the uh, at the top of the footing, just like this. Uh, the figure shown over here. Uh, up till now, we just uh, have defined the uh, reinforcement of 400 megapascal and the uh, consistent of 30 megapascal. And thickness of the, uh, the, the uh, details of this slab as well, that is uh, the thickness of this uh, footing is 400 mm. And now we need to find the column over here. Uh, let's move to the safe interface, go to define menu and column properties, and uh, add a new property. Let's name it as a column and the uh, composition will be 30 megapascal, that is rectangular uh, size. Uh, as far as our uh, ETAP test is concerned, we have a um, column of 15 inch by 15 inches, so we can define it as 15 by 15 inch column over here, and uh, that's all for the columns as well. Now we need to draw uh, the objects, so go to the draw menu and uh, draw uh, area around the points over here and uh, here we need to define it as a slab and rectangular slab that is uh, a property will be a footing that we have defined in our step and the size will be along the extraction that is two millimeters and along the y direction is also two meters that we have calculated uh, uh, by this formula that is width and length will be of two meter each so let's click on the region and uh, this footing with the 2 by 2 uh, meter size also uh, produced over here. Now we need to draw a column at the center of this footing as well. So go to a draw menu, draw columns, and uh, type of that will be column. Uh, property below will be none, and the property above will be column that we have defined in the define menu. And height below will be uh, say that is uh, uh, height below will be zero. 
and height above will be 3 meters suppose it is 3 meters uh, sorry uh, 3 feet and the plane also we don't need to do a specify these values as well uh, as we have to uh, draw a column at the center of this footing column has been drawn at the center uh, we will discuss these two properties uh, when we will uh, we need to uh, design and anal analyze and design our uh, roof slab then we will discuss what is the property below and what is the property be uh, above as well uh, click escape over here and let's mistaking this column has been drawn let's draw it again and uh, we can view the extruded view of the of our uh, slab so go to the uh, set display options and uh, click on this extruded view and check if there is a s 3 view if we will look like this Let's turn it off. Uh, before this, we need to draw. Uh, we need to define the soil support properties as well. So go to define menu and soil support property. Here uh, we need to modify this soil as well. That is, and uh, for this, uh, say uh, the building test of our soil is one fifty. Say name it as soil one fifty, and we need to calculate the soil support modulus for this purpose we uh, uh, can calculate the soil surface modulus as uh, by using the formula that is soil subgrade modulus is equal to safety capacity into factor of safety and uh, the whole divided by the permissible settlement that is 25 millimeter whole divided by the permissible settlement so it comes to be a 40 uh, I guess so 18,000 equal to 150 into 3 and the whole value by 0 0.025 and that came to be a 1800 per meter cube as well I have already calculated it so I have uh, wrote it uh, over here Eighteen thousand kilometer per meter cube. Let's type it over here. Eighteen thousand kilometer per meter cube. And click OK over here. We have defined the soil with the building capacity of one fifty kilometer per meter square. And uh, let's uh, assign the soil to this uh, footing. Uh, select this this foundation and go to the assign menu and support data and the soil properties. And let's assign this uh, soil to the this foundation that shown to be soil 150 has already signed to this uh, footing and uh, we uh, need to define uh, we need to draw a point uh, at the center of the uh, column so we need uh, we will go to a draw menu and draw points and let's click at the center of this column click escape to cancel the command a point has been drawn we, we now we need to uh, assign load uh, so uh, let's select the point uh, uh, before assigning the load we need to define the load cases uh, load patterns uh, so we go to the fine menu and load patterns here we have two types of load that is dead load and a live load only that are there for uh, so we don't need to uh, define any further load we click ok over here and uh, now we need to define load combination as well 
go to define menu and load combinations uh, here uh, select the uh, default design combination let's select uh, again the set ultimate there are two types of load combination over here that has a uh, dead load and a live load and first one is the uh, simple uh, dead load and uh, let's click ok over here and now we need to assign a load uh, to our foundation uh, to our footing and uh, let's select the point uh, that has already been drawn and go to the assign menu and load data and the point load and uh, we need to define a load over here we need to define the load in the gravity that in the uh, now the gravity uh, our dead load is uh, 500 kN and live load is only 100 kN so let's assign the 500 kN dead load in along the z direction and the size for the bunch of shell is the size of the column that is 381 mm by 381 mm 15 plus 15 inches and uh, click ok over here we assign the dead load to this column and we now we need to define a uh, live load uh, again select uh, uh, the center of the column uh, the point uh, that is drawn at the center of the column go to the assign menu load data and uh, point data and assign it as a live load that is only 100 kN and uh, click ok over here <coughs> This is the review of this uh, foundation. Uh, now we have uh, uh, assigned the soil as we have also assigned the load data as well, and uh, all the uh, components of this uh, uh, footing is complete. And we can go to the uh, run menu and we can uh, run an action design over here. Before uh, running an action design, we need to save the uh, our data. and it shows the uh, analysis has been done and this is the settlement that is at the center of the, uh, this footing that has 7.6 mm and uh, at the corner it has 7.4 mm and that is within the principal limit our first check has passed uh, that uh, we have a permissible settlement of 25 mm and now we need to check the soil pressure as well so go to a social reaction forces and uh, soil pressure and uh, we can apply over here and here we have 138 km per meter scale and the uh, safe rain capacity of our uh, footing was uh, kept to be a 150 km per meter scale again the second check is also passed and now we need to check the uh, punching shear as well and uh, the punching shear check is uh, al al already passed that is 0 0.326 that must be less than 1 and uh, that's fine that our all three checks has been passed First one is a deflection check, second one is a soil pressure check and third one is a function shear check. Uh, now we need to detail our footing as well uh, for this uh, um, unlock the column, uh, unlock the model and uh, we will draw design strips over here. Uh, for this we need to go to draw menu and draw design strips option over here and uh, we first need to draw a column strip uh, at the same that is uh, our footing is size is 2 by 2 meters so we need to write it over here as a 0 0.5 0 0.5 meters uh, start with from the left and 0 0.5 meters along the y and similar will be along the uh, sorry uh, along the right direction and 0 0.5 will be along the left direction as well that is our first strip will be column strip and let's uh, draw the column strip like this the strip is in stone over here we can go to the uh, set this way option and show it over here like this this has shown the design strip has been drawn along the extraction and now we need to draw it uh, uh, the mirror strip as well so we need to take the mirror strip over here and uh, again Start with from the left will be 0 0.5 and along the right will be 0 and uh, similar along the right will be 0. We need to just uh, define the design strip uh, along this portion as well. Uh, sorry. Uh, 
design strip has also already done in along this portion and now we need to define the design strip at this uh, point as well for this we need to uh, turn and uh, the ref will be 0 and right will be 0 0.5 again f will be 0 and right will be 0 0.5 The design strip has been drawn both uh, uh, for the major strip and the column strip as well. Along the X direction, we we'll now we need to draw it along the Y direction as well. Uh, let's first draw the column strip that is 0 0.5 along left and right, 0 0.5, and This has been drawn along the this direction, and now we need to uh, put it zero over here, and again along the right direction, also zero. Uh, this should be drawn, uh, drawn along this direction, and uh, now we need to put it zero over here. We have drawn the uh, columns uh, design strips both along the x direction and y direction as well. And uh, now we need to go to the uh, run in design. After run in action design, we can we'll be able to design a detailing as well. So go to the uh, run menu and run detailing. And uh, the detailing has been run for all the series, and we can view our times over here that's all about for our today's task to design and, uh, and analyze our algorithm footing in safe thank you